Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the game font for your RPG Maker MV game. So what you want to do is download the font that you like, and then double click it, and click install. Once it's installed, you can close it, you're going to go to your start menu, and type in fonts. You're going to see a folder called fonts. Click on that folder, and this is going to pop up. Then you're going to find the font that you just installed. You're going to right click that and you're going to click copy. Then you're going to go to your game folder, open folder, go to fonts and paste it in here. Once you've got it pasted in here, you're going to uh, select the entire name and copy that name. Then open the gamefont.css and paste it in here. Hit file, hit save. If you're using plugins like uh, the core engine from Yanfly, you're going to scroll down to the parameters here where you see default font. You're going to get rid of everything except for game font. Um, you could put a comma after game font and it should still work fine. Also the message core has a font, which I'm not sure why that there's a font for both of them, but put game font in right there. Hit OK, save your game, hit play. And now we have different fonts. So let's change it and see if we can get it to work. There we go. Got a different font. Well, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. It took me a little while to figure this out. I originally tried this a couple weeks ago, and I was uh, basically downloading a font and putting it in my uh, my directly into the folder here. But what happens is sometimes the file you download isn't the same exact name as the font that's installed. For example, the Dark Crystal script. Um, it has a different name called uh, Dark Crystal Script underscore one when you install it. So by going to your fonts folder and copying it from here and then pasting that file in there, you see the exact file name that you need. So thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you did like this sort of content. Uh, thank you guys for being awesome. Thank you guys for watching this video, and we will see you in the next tutorial.